Now it's time to check out the most important product from the petroleum refinery, which is gasoline for automobile. Now this is one of the lightest materials. So far we have seen liquefied natural gas, which typically is associated to natural gas directly. Then we have liquefied petroleum gases, which is the C3, C4 cuts. We have seen what is naphtha, typically used as gasoline directly or must be treated or is used for petrochemicals. Now, in this specific case, gasoline is a mixture of a lot of materials. So not only naphtha, it will be also used from FCC materials and other unit operations. But first, let us define what is gasoline. Gasoline is a volatile mixture of liquid hydrocarbons. So that's important. This is a liquid fuel, generally containing small amounts of additives which increase their performance. And this is essentially designed for spark ignition internal combustion engines. So you have the spark, you have the oxygen and the fuel in the engine. Now, typically in the market, you will find at least two types of gasolines, more commonly three types of gasoline, or even four or more types of gasoline, depending on their content. The most common one, is the regular gasoline which is between 85 to 88 in gasoline octane rating mid-grade gasoline is something between 88 and 90 and the premium gasoline which is required for many new motors especially new engines from fancy autos or more technological automobiles more than 90. so you can see this is very high in octane rating this is medium and this is low and as stated before we've seen before the aki number was obtained by adding the run and mon numbers plus no, divided by two so it should contain something around 80 82 run and something about 95 mon now as stated before gasoline is a made up of plenty of stream products not only one straight run but for instance straight run gasoline which comes from this distillation column here nafta it's not only obtained directly actually only about 20 percent will be used directly but we gotta make some chemical changes we gotta reformate it we gotta crack other type of heavy oils in order to increase the gasoline yields we must alkylate low sized molecules we must isomerate the required materials and add some additives such as mtbe and alcohols talking about the straight run nafta or straight run gasoline will be this part right here typically refer as nafta so whenever you say something about gasoline going out of the crude oil distillation unit actually it's nafta which is later on treated once the leading source of fuel, it is low in octane, so that's why we cannot use or we shouldn't use NAFTA directly because we want to improve its octane rating. Why is it low in octanes? It has a low amount of cyclocanes and has almost no olefins. Between 0 to 20% of this stream will be pulled directly to the gasoline. So actually, direct run will be sent directly in a 20% max and 80% will be treated. The run number, remember research octane a number, is too low, as stated here, low octane. The run and RBP, remember RBP stands for read vapor pressure of the gasoline, gotta be improved via addition of chemical processes. Reforming, which is right here, reforming, remember, is changing and increasing the aromatic content and cyclic content of the gasoline, and isomerization, which is going to be changing linear canes into more branched gasolines, which increase the obtain rating. NAFTA needs to be split into light and heavy NAFTA. And importantly to remark right here that the straight run gasoline, here is called NAFTA, it's also used as feedstock in steam crackers to produce olefins. So this is not that important right now, but if you're interested in a petrochemical group or in a petrochemical course, you gotta check out this petrochemical course. What we focus on is on the olefin 
and mostly on the production of ethylene, propylene, butadiene, and isoprene, which is this carbon 2, carbon 3, carbon 4, carbon 5. They are olefins and they are not going to be burnt. The main idea of this petrochemical is that, to create chemicals, not to burn them. So very interesting that about 5% will be converted into chemistry and 95% will be burnt or will be used as asphalt. Next, reformate is right here. The reformate is the product that goes outside the reformer. It is a catalytic uh, reaction, has a high octane rating because we are producing more aromatics. We are decreasing all the content and BTX are removed as well. But remember, BTX are very important. Benzene extensively used, hyaline use or or a hyaline using uh, polyesters and toluene typically use either to produce more benzene or a toluene finer product. FCC gasoline. Here we have several crackers, in which we have the FCC fluidized catalytic cracker. We have gasoline and naphtha, of which we have a high olefin content, meaning that we have something like this. What we want to do is to reduce that content in order to increase its octane rating. So it has a moderate octane rating. You mix it and you will increase the quality of the gasoline. Also, we add butane because butane is excellent for blending gasoline because it increases the octane rating. But unfortunately, as you can imagine, butane has a low boiling point, which will be limiting the RVP, the read vapor pressure. Then let's talk about the hydrocracate. Still talking about the cracking units. We have several cracking units. We have heavy, mid and light. All of them are producing the hydrocracker and has a medium to low octane ratings. Therefore, we got to ensure to improve further its quality. The alkylate, as you can imagine, it is an alkylized product. We have here the alkylation unit, which receives a little bit gases from the coker, gases from the cracking unit. And what we do here is nothing more than try to increase the uh, gasoline content via addition of isobutane and olefins. So imagine we have isobutane is something like this, and we have an olefin like this. What you want to do is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven to produce something like this, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, which will increase the octane rating. The good thing on alkylate is that it won't contain aromatics, so that's why we need to polymerize it or alkylate it. And now the isomerate, which we don't have right here, but should be something here. What we're doing with the isomerate is converting N-butane and butane to, to isobutane and iso pentane. Okay, so then we are not chain alkanes and so on. Has medium run and mon, remember these obtain ratings, and does not have aromatic, as you can imagine, the isomerate will only change linear alkanes into branched alkanes.